how different parenthood is now to what it was like. It's nearly time, guys. Ten days and we'll be weaning the boy. We give a big man. Oh, I can do it. Oh, look Who at my mango. Because we get married in three months, if you didn't know. <laughs> it's actually scary. I just feel really anxious. I don't know. And then since having the boys, like I will open, okay, I'm gonna come on here and say it. I have. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side to side, our fears are done. Good morning, little boys. Oh God, time's just begun. <laughs> like and subscribe. Oh. We know, well, we oh, are we over there? Oh my word. <laughs> oh yeah, by this the is way, a really new thing. this is the new thing and Ari's learnt how to roll over and then he kind of <laughs> like beaches himself on the play mat. What is up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Feels like a little while since we've done an actual vlog, doesn't it? It does. Because we've had like the Hindu gym build. So it's nice to just be back filming again. These boys have changed <laughs> loads <laughs> since you probably last saw them. They are now like having conversations with each other. Um, they've got a job now. They've just passed their driving license. They're paying rent. Yeah, paying rent. They're so tall. They are growing at a ridiculous rate. Look at the size of it. We have just done a training session, haven't we? Whilst the boys have been napping. Yeah. Which we'll update you on their naps and their sleeping a bit later on. But yeah, we got in and got a back workout done. And L smash the deadlift she got back up to her 90 kilos well it's a pb do. since after giving birth yeah we'll roll the footage so you can see mm. just the first time you've done it since, since birth, yeah. oh let's go yes easy nice let's go we almost had a full-on argument slash breakdown because she was like, Fab, is my phone recording for this? Yeah, and I because was like, I'm yes. fil I was filming a reel for Instagram. So I asked Fab to che check my phone was recording. I said, yeah, I was recording. Was it recording? No. So I did my PB, but didn't record it. So I had to do it again. Luckily, I managed to do it again. Yeah, she smashed it. I had it filmed on this camera, but anyway, Having the home gym has significantly increased our mental health, our yeah. mood, just like motivation, motivation. everything. Yeah, I can't so even better. describe how much just of a big a part life. fitness is in yeah. our lives. Like, yeah. I it, it sounds daft. It, it's it not really daft. does People sound People will daft. get it. If you go to the gym, they'll understand. Uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> but today's video is just us vlog in the weekend we yeah. were meant tell them what we were meant to do Al. we were meant to be doing the garden up because the garden needs sorting out ready for summer because the, weather, <laughs> the weather's getting warmer but shock it's been nice all week and then the day we decided to do it is taking it down yeah. all day the english weather was like uh no actually you're not doing that we're just going to bring you along on our weekend we've got a fun day tomorrow we're going to meet our friends ben and robin who have also got identical twin boys these Two will get to meet them. I know. Which is going to be, be amazing. Twin friends. It's just going to be like a. We have a wholesome weekend. Yeah, yeah. If you're new here, please subscribe if you enjoy, and it always helps us if you leave a little thumbs up and mm -hmm. comment down below. We read all the comments, don't we, and try and reply to them all. So we always appreciate that. And all you silent watchers, yeah. whenever I say it, we always get people commenting. <laughs> come and say hi. They come out of the woodwork. Yeah. <laughs> Should we have no, some breakfast? No. Breakfast time. Some bacon, some eggs. Where's the frying pan? Can you fry bacon in a wok? If you're wondering what it's like to have twins, uh, this is it. This is tame. This is tame. We'd much rather have a fun environment than a clean all the time environment, but I think it's it's getting to the point where we might have to get some help with a cleaner because... Or oh, Fab just pulls his finger out. Are you moaning because I've stopped the telly? You shouldn't even be watching anyway. This is the thing, right, with them rolling over. He gets on his front and then forgets that he knows how to roll back over onto his back. Right, I'm about to get the boys dressed. This is the outfit for the day. This jumper which says creativity is everywhere and this is Fab's favourite jumper. Huh? Yeah? 
I found another one. I got you these. Got no way, I thought we just had one. No, I got two, I found oh. another one. They're originally from Zara, but Zara don't sell them anymore, so I got them off Vintage. Oh my word, what have we got here? They look so cute in oversized stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Weekends are really the only opportunity we get to try and properly have a clean, so the boys are sleeping, so we're just doing some boring house drawers but this is very satisfying so i'm about to go through our sainsbury's order and i'm also going to start talking about calories and trying to lose weight body fat etc because me and fab are trying to lose body fat ahead of our wedding so if this triggers you or um you don't like watching stuff like this just skip ahead a little bit so sainsbury's order is here we get a few questions asking us to go through what we order in our weekly shop. Obviously, as well as this, we also have HelloFresh. That's why it probably doesn't seem a lot. <laughs> we have toothpaste, honey for my oats. We have crisps, Fab chose Sunbite. I've chosen What's It. I absolutely love What's It. Squares bars, these are absolutely brilliant for carbs. They're also low fat. The light baby bowels. I actually put these on a wrap and put them in the microwave for a minute and then have bacon in it too for my lunch. We've got tomatoes, because me and Fab absolutely love having tomatoes with nearly everything. Wraps, two packets of wraps, because me and Fab have a wrap every single day. These pizzas are really good for if you're cutting because they are 431 calories, 12 grams of fat. They're just a really good low calorie alternative if you want pizza. We also got two of these. These are really handy for if we just want to cook something really quick. Potatoes. Coke Zero. Mount in the middle fish cakes. Me and Fab absolutely love fish cakes. Oh, that's the alternative. I really don't like this lettuce. I ordered just the iceberg lettuce. Got garlic and herb chicken Kievs. Got some strawberries. Mangoes, yes. I bought some mangoes because me and Fab are a little bit obsessed with mangoes at the moment, so I'm gonna cut them up. This chicken tikka masala, again, just really quick and easy. Lighter cheese. I don't personally like these, but Fab absolutely loves them. Got some milk, because we go through so much milk. Some frozen raspberries to go on top of my oats. My porridge oats. And squash and sweetener. And that's all we got on our Sainsbury's order. Like I said, it's not a lot because we do also do our HelloFresh alongside this. It's not a lot, but take a second, right? Guess how much that costs. Yeah. This is ridiculous how much the price of food's gone up. Isn't it 90 pounds? Yeah. That is 90 pounds. Which What's again, if price? you don't do HelloFresh, this is another reason to do HelloFresh because it is so reasonably priced. Ready? All the way back there, can she get the wraps in? Oh! Right, you've got the wraps in the drawer. Can you juggle the mangoes as the next challenge? Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Here we go. Here we go! <laughs> Fair play. What are we going to do today then? We can go buy hey, stuff for the garden. We can, should we go have a look in the range and shops like that? By the way, it's nearly time guys. It's nearly time. How many more days have we got? What day is it today? The sixth. Ten days. Ten days and we'll be weaning the boys. So we've got their high chairs. That's mad. Their little, their little suction box. We were actually um, watching some videos today. We think we're going to go baby leg weaning, don't we? Yeah with a tiny bit of puree. If you didn't know, by the way, because I put something on our Instagram um, about weaning, um, and people said to sign up to Ella's Kitchen, and they basically send you this little chart, which I think is so cute. What's it got on it? Like it's you like tick off the what they've had? vegetables, yeah, you'd like tick off what they've had. I reckon they're gonna love their food. We gave oh, Ari a bit of an sorry. apple yesterday. I mean, yeah, it was like, like a, to hold. To ho and he just sucked on it yeah. and we literally walked He loved it. Walk. And then they also send you like these little vouchers too. So um, you get like money off. And yeah, if you have good. twins, they send you two lots, which is great because not many places do that. And it also comes with this little like booklet as well, which tells you what food. Is that you free? At what age? Yeah, it's free. You just sign oh, up. Right, that's good. I don't know why you're filming this because I actually don't have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, I hate having stuff on my hands. <laughs> you've, it's because you've cut your mess. Hey! No, not Oh, give a big man. Oh, I can do it. Oh, look Who at my muscles. Who mango lengthways? Look you at my muscles. You're going to eat your shorts. And this knife is blunter than James Blunt. Oh, are these excuses I'm hearing? <laughs> No, seriously, what is that? No, it's because it's all on there. You have to cut it off here, look. I'm buying it pre-cut, Fab. We'll just no, be just don't be lazy. I'm so angry! 
Yeah. Oh, it's a bit bitter. Are you fuming now? Yeah, I am tamping fuming, Rachel. Right, welcome to the chaos that is my office. <laughs> Your office? <laughs> oh gosh, we and Fab were like, oh right, let's tidy up, pull this drawer out and it just broke. The yeah, whole it thing. just broke. This the drawer's bottom one's broken, broke, this one's top broken one. and now I give up, I'm buying a new one. Yeah, we that, need to get a new one. So we are just going to do some wedding prep because we get married in three months, if you didn't know. And <laughs> It's actually scary. Yeah, we need to start doing stuff. <laughs> We're trying to make as much as we possibly can for the wedding. We're trying to make as much as we can for the wedding to save money. We're even making our own shoes. No, we're not. I am. As long as they're not brown. <laughs> we made our own <laughs> wedding invitations, which... You would have seen them. Did we show them? Not f yeah, we did show them. What we, we're doing now is we're doing our wedding favours. So wedding favours are basically things that you have on the table for people. Oh no, won't it? So we've got little Hessian bags with the date we get married. Then on the back it's noughts and, cr noughts and crosses. And then inside oh, we've made cool. these like noughts pebbles. and crosses on little pebbles. The pebbles were from the range, weren't yeah. they? And they basically came black and white. Did you draw the heart on there? The little... And also as well, we bought some seeded paper. So this basically has little flower seeds in for little wild flowers. <laughs> and these, this is going to have like a little letter to people on, and then they can take it home, plant it, and then. That's what you're printing now. Yeah. So we can show them. So I can show you. On our brand spanking new printer. This thing, by the way, is the best thing since sliced bread, this printer. <laughs> you like, don't like sliced bread. No, actually, that's right. I don't like sliced bread. I'll get Fab to link this um, below because we got it off Amazon. And it was a really good price, wasn't it? 100 quid it was. Yeah. I don't know what's a really good price for a printer. For a printer that you can print off your phone and works. And works. Like, I don't know about other people, but... We've not really owned many printers. Oh, I have in my lifetime. Really? Back when you used to work in the library? <laughs> Elle was a librarian once. And you seem to forget as well that I'm a teacher and we use printers all the time at school. Yeah, and that's they true. Always break. Yeah, but... Do you menu anyone? Want to know what will happen at the, at the menu at the wedding? Here we go. Moment of truth. Is it going to work? Oh my God, it looks beautiful. <laughs> it says, Thank you so much for joining us on the biggest day of our lives. You have no idea how much it means to have you here with us today. Please take this home and plant it. And when the flowers bloom, it will remind you of our special day. Love, Fabian and Ellen. Yeah, and the flowers in there are stinging out all sort of soon. <laughs> 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 are awake from their nap and I thought I'd match them so I put on my creative collective jumper almost matching so having their nappy changed now and then we're heading out I think okay. good morning da, 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 da. Da, da. Da, 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 da. <laughs> who is it <laughs> that is not ideal for getting the baby in the car. So this morning the boys woke up early. <laughs> Sounds like he's choking, he's not. He's, it's just a new noise that he's making. So the no the this morning the boys woke up and they, like me and Fab were woken up by them like talking to each other, doing what they're doing now, like just like babbling to each other. <laughs> and they were doing it for a good 10 minutes before me and Fab thought, right, okay, it's time to get up now. But yeah, it was so cute. I can't find my phone. This is like a daily occurrence now. I just lose everything. I've lost my watch, my G-Shock watch that Ellen bought me for my birthday. Don't know where that is. Lost my phone. Any tips on how to stop losing things? She's going back in because one of them's just had a blue explosion. Which one of you was that? Was it? I think it was Ari. Right. Back in we go. Enjoy that. Yeah. Look at how depressing that is. Rain. Oh, there's a slug on the sunroof. How did that get up there? Is that a slug? Or bird poo? Oh wait. Oh, it's bird poo. If I open the sunroof, is that gonna fall in? Should I do it on Ellen's head? Has he had has he had one too? Yeah. <laughs> 
in this new pram as well. They both love to put their feet up on here. <laughs> We're going for a little look around the range. What are we looking for, Al? Garden stuff. Yeah. Yeah, for when the weather's a little bit better. Oh, pick a mix. <laughs> look at those barbecues over there. That is so cool. Do you know what the funny thing is in this relationship? Usually it's the female that just looks around in shops all the time and the male's like, oh, come on, but literally it's the other way around for us, isn't it? Al's Very always like, hurry up. Well, we need some of these to plant the plants in. Yeah, but they're all disgusting. It's one of those things, weed burner. My dad was telling us about this because we're going to clean all the moss in the back garden. Look. Oh, yeah. That's what, That's what we've got though, isn't it? No, look. Elle's gone ahead without me because I was too busy looking at the brushes. She's been a right killjoy. I want to buy all the fun stuff like the flamethrower and all the cool brushes. And she's like, no, we don't need that. Guaranteed next week. She's going to be using the tiny little dustpan and brush that we've got, getting those tiny little weeds up, throwing a tiny little hissy Look, fit. If it was socially acceptable, I would stand up on those compost there and I would people's elbow you off there. Come on then, let's see it then. Get right up the top. <laughs> see, she, she ain't got the minerals. <laughs> I like these. I don't like those. You know what? Uh, I j what a surprise. <laughs> Why don't you like them? They're just too basic. Where for are we talking for now? In the garden, obviously. We've already got ones like that in there. This one's cool. Where are we talking for in the garden? Where's this going to go? Down the side. She doesn't even know, guys. She doesn't even know. She's making this up. Don't ram me with the children. Do you think maybe we should go to the and Maybe, yeah. I'm just not feeling the vibes here. Not feeling the vibes. Can I still not get my weed killer? The flamethrower? Go and get it then. Wow. Go and get your flamethrower. I bet you and then will you fart into it when I blow it? <laughs> what? Exactly what we need. You're falling hook, line and sinker for the JML adverts. How much is it? 9 If we've got one like that, why yeah. not just buy the hard bristle brush, which is a lot that, bigger? That's not metal, but that's plastic. They're pruny. You're pruny? <laughs> oh no, as if I'm trusting Ellen with the pick and mix. This could be a grave mistake. Al's popped into Aldi to get some nappies. We needed some anyway, but we're going to change Noah's bum. Okay, boys, they're probably going to cry in a sec. <laughs> we're back from, where do we go? Range. Range. Um, successful because we actually got one of the best pick and mixes that we've ever found and it's almost gone, isn't it? Yeah. Can I give you a wet No! Um, Ellen also found, what is this? Mysterious Fanta flavour. Guess mm -hmm. the flavour. Mm. Is it sugar free? Sugar free. Crack it open, sunshine. He's complaining about it's it being sugar flavor. free, but he's just eating yeah, literally a whole true. cup of pigment. That's very true. And Elle found this laundry detergent powder holder thingy majiggy. Don't act um, like you know what it is. I you do. You ever actually use one of them in your life? No. <laughs> I just grab out of the bag. Um, you don't even take a washing. Yeah, I do actually. Come on then. What do you think? I don't want a clue. It smells like vanilla. Uh, that is rank. <laughs> it's horrible. That is rank. Tip that down the drain. I don't even know what flavour that is. It's like... Rhubarb? Yeah, maybe rhubarb. Yeah, rhubarb. And people were saying that's good? Mm. Well, I'm not believing them again. Their taste buds broke. Not Try it for yourselves. The boys are napping now. Um, it's actually really cute in the range. There was four of the female staff members who were all looking at the boys. I tell you what, they get some serious attention out and about and no one cares about us anymore. Let's do it on our wedding day. Mm -hmm. Thunder Rain. and lightning. Is it? Rain? Rain is. Should we just call the wedding off? Do you want me to actually kill you? It's not funny, Fab. I've put so much effort into this. I'm joking. I can't wait to marry you. It's going to be fun. I've got, I've got a sugar crash. Yeah, do you know what I have as well? How do this you get is sugar this? free, by the way, before you think. How do you get rid of it? Have more sugar, I think. <laughs> what wedding plan are we doing then? Buying so, the outdoor game? Outside. It like, looks over onto like, a big grass bit, doesn't it? Yeah. And we want to get wooden... Games. games to go on there so that people can play them. Elle's found a website mm. 
where what did you say it's a lot cheaper like 50 quid for all of them that we literally, wanted literally yeah what was it called like dark web games or something <laughs> I just want to say here that my maid of honour is basically who I'm marrying because she's helped plan this wedding more than he has it's true or false it's true or false <laughs> limbo That'll be funny after a few beers. God, look, they had a sale on. That's why it was so cheap, but now they don't have oh, the sale. Oh, and you've missed it. Talking of pick and mix, Al's just found a website. Show the games, Al. Stop ch flirting with the computer. <laughs> Can you scroll up and show the games? No, just... Just scroll. I'm doing something. Are you done now? Hello. <laughs> Helen's getting lippy with the chatbot. Look, you can hire mini golf and all of these games and it's only 25,000 pounds. <laughs> no, <laughs> how much is it? 600. Good boy, good trying. I love you. I thought it'd be good for us to talk about like, what? This is very, feels That's very cool. very, formal. like, I don't know why you do this. Whenever Fab oh. like sits down and sits in front of a camera, you're so serious. I don't know what, no, it is a serious We basically topic. wanted to sit down and talk about how... Parenthood's going. Yeah, how different parenthood is now to what it was like a couple of months ago. Yeah. Because we've obviously documented the whole journey from having the boys when they were first born to now, and it's completely different. Yeah, it's yeah. With it's, it's just the contrast is ridiculous and we, we talk about this a lot and we talk about how the newborn days are just such a blur because we were so like anxious and there was just so much going on wasn't there yeah and we feel like we didn't properly like take it in and properly connect with these boys because we were so like scared I guess and like and it was just like, like finding figuring out We've never had children before, and then to be chucked in the deep end with having two yeah. newborns who did have. Well, they like had like yeah, the the, the cow's milk allergy. They had reflux. You're first time parents, and like everything seems like it's the end of the world when you're first time. Well, I don't parent. even because you I don't, don't. You've not experienced it, have you? So. I don't even think it was like that. I think when you're in the moment of having a newborn, I don't think you really realise how like what's going on because you're just surviving well yeah That's you've how got I felt anyway. lack of sleep and it, yeah it's like you're survival, just survival mode. mode yes but now looking back at newborn stage we're just thinking like how difficult we both found that but yeah. then now having the boys like it's like a massive weight has been lifted hasn't it like i just feel like well, so much lighter they're in such a good routine yeah we know them a lot better it's like they're little characters coming out now and yeah it really is true like when pe whenever people used to say like oh you love them more every single day like it's like a love that you can never explain yeah. i used to be like well like how but yeah. it just makes sense when you have kids and you just like you do love them more every single day and yeah. sometimes me and Ellen will literally watch them sleep and like cry because of how <laughs> because of how much we love them yeah and if we could have seen that when we were going through our journey of trying to conceive and yeah. the struggles of, of like you know multiple negative tests being told that I was had such a low chance of having children yeah. if we could have seen like this moment now it, you know, obviously then we would have had, it would have been fine. Yeah. And I feel like there's probably so many people, probably people watching this who follow us who are going through the same kind of struggles we went through. And it's so hard to, mm. to like have the hope, but granted people go through a lot worse than what we went through. Um, we were the lucky ones, but having hope and not losing sight of like what you, what could be is such an important thing. And I saw this thing the other day, this is crazy actually, and it was a chart of like the amount of time you spend with your kids. And it starts yeah. off Loads, up here, yeah. and as they get older it drops and drops and drops and drops. And it's so sad, but I guess that's life. Like your kids grow up and they leave. And I think these moments now are the moments that we'll look back on in the future. <laughs> We let the boys watch a little bit of either George the Monkey or the Dancing Veggies. 
sometimes when they're a bit grouchy. Look at this, we got George the monkey on. Look how much they love him. Where's Ellen gone? Elle? Yeah. What? How'd you get up there? Bounce. You bounced up. I'll come back and collect you in two weeks. Okay? Oh, no. Getting the glass jars for the wedding tables. Do you have a pile for vintage stuff? feeling a bit anxious today you get like this sometimes don't you yeah and i have asked her if we can talk about this before i film <laughs> yeah so i've always struggled with anxiety haven't i yeah more so like when me and fat first got together i really suffered with it and then it got better didn't it yeah and then since having the boys like i will like, okay i'm gonna come on here and say it I have, I definitely do have postpartum anxiety, not postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety, which I didn't actually know was a thing. I think, to be honest, I think everybody to an extent suffers with postpartum anxiety. Yeah. Because you've just had a baby and things are different, blah, blah, blah. But there's a few things that, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. Like, it's uncontrollable. Yeah. It has been uncontrollable, hasn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. I've been, I'm very anxious to leave the boys. Yeah. Aren't I? Yeah. Um, I'm very anxious about, like, that they're gonna die. Uncontrollable feeling of that they're gonna either be in pain, that they're gonna be, that they're gonna die, that they're gonna mm. die in their sleep. Like, I've been struggling to sleep at night just by thinking of crazy scenarios. I've grinded my teeth so badly. Yeah, yeah. But like, it's just things like, random things like today, like I just feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack, don't I? Yeah. And then we'll be going to bed at night and I'll feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack. Like my, my mm. chest goes so tight. Yeah. And I'm shaking and I just can't control it. And I, the way I describe it is, like, you know when you're a kid and you run so much that like you're just trying to catch your breath and it hurts yeah. your neck. Like, yeah. That's how it feels. But yeah, I'm just having a bit of a moment today. <laughs> what I notice I is it's usually when we're doing something outside of our normal routine. Routine. And yeah. it kind of throws you, doesn't it? Yeah. But I think little things that we do, which I don't know, hopefully it helps you, is like writing down a list a of list. things to yeah. do. Yeah. And just communicating. Like, I communicated with Fab today. I just went downstairs and I said, Fab, I'm having a bit of a tough time. Like, I feel like I'm going to have a panic attack can we write a list of things we need to do? And yeah. You've dropped everything that you needed to do. And we're just doing stuff. Like Fab wanted to train this morning, but instead of doing that, like he's helped me to do the jobs that I needed to do. I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it. And I don't know, it's really, I find it really hard. Cause I always think there's someone worse off than me. So I always feel guilty about talking about how I'm- No, I think you should always, it's relative, isn't it? Of course there's gonna be, there's always gonna be someone in a worse situation, but I think by you talking about how you feel, yeah. it helps other people yeah. who are feeling the same, because there's yeah. gonna be people who feel the same. Yeah. So you should never feel like you can't share. It's no. not like you're going, oh, look at me, I'm, do you know what I mean? You're just, you're just talking about how you feel. Yeah, and I do think, I think if you watch Channel for a while, you'll know that I'm under history of mental health in my family. I was picked up under the mental health team when I was pregnant, which is fine. Like I've always said that I would rather them know than me go under the rug, but mm. I haven't actually reached out to them yet. And I'm thinking maybe I probably should. Yeah. <laughs> now that they're like, because of what we not... spoke about yesterday, everything's settled and we're not in the survival mode anymore. Yeah. And things are better. So I feel like maybe I should go and talk to somebody. Yeah, because... you've got to prioritize yourself yeah. as well as the boys. Because And as well, like, I mean, I like to think I'm a good mum to them, but I think I could be a better mum if I wasn't suffering so bad with anxiety. Yeah. And it's not anxiety around, I don't, I don't know what, it's anxiety around the boys being unsettled. Yeah. Because they were so unsettled when, when they, they were, were younger. younger. Yeah. That now, any time that, that I 
there's a risk of them being unsettled. Yeah. Like the weaning, that's a massive spike in my anxiety. Yeah. Because I'm worried about them having a reaction to the food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, but then you speak to people and they're like, it's so much better when they wean and they're on food and they're not reacting to the milk and the reflux goes when they're on yeah. food. It's just change. change. I guess I guess that yeah. is exactly what it is. It's just change. It's that you and don't And that's want always been your pain. trigger is like, yeah. you're such a creature of habit. Yeah. There's just a lot, isn't there? There's a lot. And with babies, nothing is ever, and, and people told me this, when you have babies, things don't go to plan, but. <laughs> yeah. It's a learning curve. It is a constant learning curve. It is what it is. And, and you've got to remember, we've only been parents for what, five, almost six months. Yeah. So we were, and we were right in the deep end with two of them. So I think we're doing a fine job. It took a lot for me to talk about this online, by the way. Yeah, and don't we don't need, we don't have to put it in if you don't want to. But I think it's good for it's good to. No, and I do think it's good open to talk up. about. Yeah. It is good to talk about, but I think I've only just really come to terms with how bad the anxiety actually is and how much it does affect yeah things yeah i don't know this this there'll be a fix for it though yeah but basically what well, the reason what yeah, okay i will talk <laughs> i'm coming to talk about it online is because if i can help somebody by telling you how i feel maybe it will make somebody else talk about them how they're feeling and yeah. therefore get help for how they're feeling yeah and not feel alone even if you don't go to talk about it me and you feel the same and yeah. you've got one more person who feels the same way that you do boys are ready for the day in their little rompers they, they actually look well cute in there. this was left in the car oh brilliant thanks for the present okay let's go boys road trip coming over today. today. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some sandwiches, I think. Right, you ready? Let's go, road trip.